always had that love of movies and soundtracks and sort of tried to bring them into my songwriting and our, our recordings. I kind of had the philosophy of like each song could be maybe its own little soundtrack. My name is Nick Urata and I scored Quiz Lady. I was lucky enough to come from a musical family. Um, my grandfather was a professional musician, a horn player, and a band leader, and he was like my hero growing up. Uh, I took up the trumpet as early as I could and, uh, you know, played in the dorky marching band. My first solo score was I Love You, Philip Morris. Probably the most notable one was Crazy Stupid Love. The director of Quiz Lady is Jessica Yu. This is actually our third project together. It was a big thrill to have, you know, Will Ferrell be the first character to show up on screen. Um, Aquafina, Sandra O, oh. and then Jason Schwartzman to have that land in your little studio and have to bring them to life with music. I had a lot of pressure on me not to screw it up. <laughs> Before the shoot, um, Jessica came to me and said, we need you to write an iconic game show theme. The main character, Anne, is obsessed with this game show called Can't Stop the Quiz. We all know those game show themes. So I kind of just tried to break down what was best about all the ones that we love. The great thing about all those iconic quiz show themes is they do use an orchestra and they use, you know, you'll hear drums and electric guitars and they, they kind of run the full gamut. And when we started experimenting, we, we realized that there were a lot of different looks we could get away with. As far as the score goes, we sort of start out in her office and her job. None of her office mates knows who she is. And then the world kind of comes crashing in. I had to approach it as each character sort of had to have their own theme and their own feeling like her sister is the polar opposite of her and kind of lives in the moment. And so her, her feeling was kind of chaos. We used a lot of South American percussion and orchestral percussion. And then we have her arch enemy, which is played by Jason Schwartzman. He had his own theme. We used sort of a low, a big B3, kind of low endy sound to give him kind of something menacing. And then we had the iconic Will Ferrell was uh, the legendary host of this game show. So he had to have his own, own theme as well. And we tried to give him integrity and kindness. When Will Ferrell and Anne actually meet for the first time, we had a real harpist play a big, beautiful, angelly, angelic sort of uh, harp glissando to kind of up that moment of her actually meeting her idol. Uh, one of the great things about doing a comedy is the music can actually be a little bit over the top at times. And one of the characters is obsessed with Alan Cummings, who is a famous Scottish actor. So all of a sudden we had to take the music into the green pastures of Scotland. We were able to actually record um, something called a, a sack butt. <laughs> which is uh, it's related to the bagpipe. The final act of the film, we had to take it up a notch, so we were able to use live drummers and big percussion and electronic instruments, a big brass section, French horns, trumpets. And yeah, I think it really did take the suspense of those moments where it needed to go. 